One of the things I did early this morning was I got out here with a weed whacker and I knocked down the weeds along the edge of my yard. Uh, over and my neighbor cuts my grass and he cuts it to about here and uh, there's still a little ways before it kind of drops over the edge so what I did was uh, I went ahead and uh, weed whacked it down but then I planted trees Christmas trees I think 13 of them and they go from right at the edge of that bush all the way down to just this side of that sign down there and you can't hardly see them because they're so tiny right now. I, uh, they're like about four inches. I don't know if I can spot one here. Yeah, here's one right here. <laughs> yeah, very tiny. But they grow fast. We have a Christmas tree farm right up the road here. And those things grow a foot or two. Well, let's see. I bet uh, a foot to 18 inches a year. So within uh, two or three years, I could have a good size little, you know, row of Christmas trees. Got them all the way down the road over there, and over here, uh, I've got them all the way up to the edge of my property line. Um, and I went ahead and knocked these weeds down too. And I'm thinking when I get Dad's tractor, uh, I could actually mow down behind here. This little area that right here where I've leveled off is a place where I think I might put a like a little barn, little little tractor shed thing one day. But I could run that John Deere down in behind there and I planted the trees kind of off on the far edge there so that hopefully I can mow along there uh, on this side of them and then have them be like the border of my yard. I got this huge gigantic bush here uh, which the birds love. If you look in there right now you can see birds flying around in there. And, Trish has the bird feeders over there, so the birds, they love the bush and they love the tree and it gives them a, a place to, you know, be away from the cats. We got cats that roam the neighborhood and try to get the birds and so it gives the birds a chance because they got a place to be up there, which is good. But anyway, uh, I just thought I'd show you all that. That's, that's what I did early this morning, just as uh, about the time the sun was coming up. Uh, these trees are so tiny I can't even see them. I'm, I'm, if I do any mowing out here, I'll have to search them all out. See, right there. That's tiny. It's very tiny. And there could be one more right about here. Yep, there it is. Barely see it, but it's in there. So we'll see how they do. When I was a boy living down in Georgia, we had 70 something acres and. We planted 20 acres in uh, pine trees for pulpwood. Me and my brother, we walked the property setting out trees. Uh, I remember that well. So anyway, there's that.